Mandela Effect is when a large group of people remember something differently than it is now. And today, I'm finally answering the question, what caused the Mandela Effect? This has been a debate for years and years with many compelling arguments. There are 12 explanations I've come up with, each one diving into a different explanation for what caused the Mandela Effect. Everything from time travel to CERN to bad memory and beyond. Today, we're talking about CERN. CERN is one of the world's largest centers for scientific research. The name CERN originates from the French phrase Conseil Européen pour la Recherche Nucléaire, which translates to the European Council for Nuclear Research. CERN was established in 1954 and is located on the border between France and Switzerland, near Geneva. This organization has the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. The stated goal of CERN is to study fundamental particles by colliding protons and other particles at incredibly high speeds allowing scientists to investigate the apparent forces that hold the universe together. So what makes people feel so nervous when it comes to CERN? For one, it's a massive facility working on research that challenges our understanding of the universe. It's the highest level of science, which is mostly unknown to the majority of the population of the world. This could be the cause of so much anxiety for some. There's also the fear of unintended consequences that might occur from CERN's experiments. There are detractors. On YouTube, you get this. Some fear the experiment will create a black hole that will swallow the Earth. But CERN says this will not happen. Scientists say a microscopic black hole is possible, and this is what it might look like. But it would be too small and too unstable, winking out of existence in a matter of seconds. Now why do people think CERN caused the Mandela Effect? Some people online believe that when CERN started up the Large Hadron Collider, it may have done more than just collide particles. These people speculate that by smashing atoms at near-light speeds, CERN accidentally shifted or merged parallel realities and created the Mandela Effect. It's a bold claim that would require a lot of evidence to prove, so let's look into what CERN has actually accomplished and see if there's anything there. CERN discovered the Higgs boson particle, built the Large Hadron Collider, created the World Wide Web, and even made the first website. But did it cause the Mandela Effect? That's the big question. While there's no direct evidence, it's been claimed by some that the timing of new Mandela Effects coincides with CERN's experiments. The most interesting argument for CERN's involvement in the Mandela Effect, at least from a hypothetical standpoint, is this really creepy theory. So imagine this. The world was actually set to end in 2012, and CERN's entire purpose and creation was to find a way to save our reality. The idea is that it worked, and they saved our reality. But as a result, we jump to another timeline where the world didn't end in 2012. The insane Mandela effects we've all been discovering and experiencing were the result. Not to mention all the insanity that has happened over the last decade plus. I'm sure many of you have felt that the world has been out of control for a while now. Think about how everything changed since 2012. Politics, social media, mass cell phone adoption, digital addiction, the dead internet theory, mass social unease. It feels like the world just snapped over the last decade. Does this mean CERN caused the Mandela Effect? Let me hear your thoughts below. Look forward to the next episode, where I'll tackle another possible explanation for what caused the Mandela Effect.